ma'am, I'm sure you, you run a fine establishment here, but I'm thoroughly convinced people are just dumping their garbage at your front door and you're calling it a store. Uh... Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today playing Bargain Hunter. Find things at a yard sale, buy things at a thrift store, just pick up random garbage you find on the beach, take it to an auction house, try to sell it for a profit. I do like a little buy and sell game. Nice and casual. Buy some stuff, sell some stuff, try to come out ahead. Let's see if we can make any money today in Bargain Hunter. Well, this is where we live. It's, um, it's, it's not great. I won't lie about that. It's a little ramshackle, but we have a fireplace, which is very nice. Probably horribly unsafe, given the, the, the condition of this building. And we got 150 bucks. That's it. We have 150 bucks and probably a rat-infested apartment, which we can later upgrade. We can actually buy new furniture for all of this, but not with 150 bucks, we're not going to do that. Best thing we can do right now is get right out on the road and start trying to find some bargains. So we can go to our garage and get in our car, which is not much better than our apartment. In fact, that really looks remarkably like my first car. Nice little stain of oil here. Yeah, things are not going well in our household. Not surprising, considering we only have 150 bucks. But let's head out on the road. Let's go to a destination. Now, we could go to a garage sale. We could go to the thrift store. Or we could go to the beach and try and dig up things with a metal detector. And then there are other areas we have not unlocked yet. So there are like antique stores and all sorts of higher end things that we just, they're not even letting us in the door. We're so poor, they're not even letting us in the door. We're being turned away at those places. Let's start with something simple. Just a regular old garage sale. This young lady seems very nice. Let's go see what she's got to sell at her garage. And off we go to her little garage sale, her little yard sale. Oh, she's got all sorts hey, of things. I'm having a big clear out today. Excellent. I've got 150 bucks. What have you got for all me? All this stuff has got to go. Got to go, you say. So you're in the mood to do a little haggling. All right. Anything catch your eye? I don't know yet. Show me what you got. Okay. You have two baskets, which are remarkably similar. Oh, you have a set of silverware. I could sell that for... Oh, that could be valuable. She wants 32 for it. But that might do really well at auction if it's valuable. I don't know that. I can try inspecting it. On taking a closer look at the cutlery set, nothing in particular stands out. Yeah, I'm probably not very good at inspecting things. I can't be. I only have 150 bucks. How good could I possibly be at this? Um, we could try and haggle with her. I do kind of want that cutlery set. That might do well at auction. Are you willing to go any lower than 32? Hmm. No, I can't take any less. Well, darn you to heck. Okay. I think I'm going to buy it anyway. Hang on, what else have you got? Can you buy anything else? How about this lamp? Is that a, is that a lamp? I could sell that It's a for... bell. Oh, you only want three bucks for that, too. Hmm. Maybe that's like super valuable antique bell. You only want three bucks for it. Are you willing to give sell it for like two? Sorry, that's my best that's price That's your best on price it. on it. Okay, all right. Well, you know what? I'm going to take the bell. Because for three right. bucks, Thanks a bunch. even if it doesn't do well, you know, even we get four bucks for it, it's not a great outlay. Okay, down to $147. I really want that cutlery set. I could sell that for... I, I got a good feeling about the cutlery set. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the great. cutlery set. Appreciate yep. it. What is this I nonsense? A parasol, for... but you want 24 24 That seems a little high. Are you willing to go any lower than that? No, I can't take any less. Wow, you are a hardcore lady. You, I wo rolled in here and you said everything has to go. Well, apparently it doesn't have to go that fast. Now does it? All right, I don't think I want that Gonna for 24. Buy else? W what's up with the pen knife I can here? Let it go for four bucks for a pen knife. It could be garbage or it could be the world's most expensive valuable pen knife. I think for four bucks, I'm willing to gamble on it. Again, even if it makes five bucks, that's not too bad. Uh, you willing to go any lower than four? Uh, nope. That's my price on it. You, you, young lady, uh, were lying about the everything must go. But I'm going to take it. Great. 
appreciate it. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to pass on the basket. I mean, it is only a dollar, but how much could we possibly get for that? How much could we pot? No, you know what? That That's fine. I can't imagine Anything else that even after? being worth hauling out of here in my ramshackle car. I, I'd really like to talk about the little teapot that you have on the table here, because that looks pretty valuable, but... No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna... I'm out of here. That's all I want. Yep. Oh, and somebody else... Somebody bought the basket while I was here. Oh, dear. Okay. So, things move quickly around here. Yes, we will go back home. Appreciate the business. Bye now. Okay, bye. Well, back home. Let's take a look at what we got here. We got the bell. We got the cutlery set. We got the knife. And that is it. We have nothing else to our name. We got $111 and some stuff. And that's all we can do. You, get, you basically get to do one thing in a day. So we can just go to sleep. We'll wake up tomorrow. And what we're going to do is take that stuff to the auction house and see if anyone wants to bite on that. Brand new fresh day. Let's go to the auction room. I don't think we've got enough money to go to the auto showroom. I don't think we're buying any new car for $111. Although it is nice I can get something better down the road, especially if the, that cutlery set is valuable. Let's go to the auction room. Yes, we will head out to the auction room. Thank you very much. Hopefully the car is going to actually make it there. I don't trust this thing. And in the auction house, oh, hi. There. Welcome to the auction house. Well, thank you. We have a number of sales coming up. Would you like to enter anything for auction? I would indeed. I have a bunch of spoons that I would like you to check out. Yes. Uh, so there's a general sale on August 19th. Prices will be average. Or we could wait for the grand sale on September 7th for higher value prices. The minimum value for that has to be 75 bucks. So any item that we put in, and, and we're going to have a guy check it in a second, any item that we put in there has to have a minimum value of 75. I'm not counting on that. I think we should probably just go for the general sale of a minimum value of five bucks, and they're going to take a 17% commission. All right. Uh, yes, I will put some stuff in for the general sale. Is that sale. where you'd like to offer your items for sale? Yes, it is. I will enter this my lots. This available for entries. What are you offering for sale this time? It's going to be spoons. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be largely spoons. Uh, yeah, so the spoons. Yes, I would like to enter that. Great. This lot has been provisionally entered. Our valuer just needs to check it over, and then you'll be ready to go. Yeah, we're going to have somebody throwing a hard eye over all of this, and they may refuse it. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, basically Great. everything. That spot's available. So, what would you like to enter? I would like to put in this potentially valuable pen knife for the auction. The has been entered successfully. Once it's been cleared by our valuer, it'll be ready for auction. Super. Are there any other pieces you're interested in offering for auction? Surprisingly, okay. there is. That space hasn't been taken yet. Can you show me the item you'd like to enter, please? I absolutely can. It's this bell. Yes, I would like to Got enter it. that. Please go ahead and talk to our valuer when you're ready. Once the valuation is done, your lot will be all set. Perfect. Do you have any other lots you'd like to sell? Nope. Let's go have someone tell me that all of my stuff is garbage, please. Thanks. Please step this way and our valuer will see you about the lots you've entered. Good. Okay, let's talk to the valuer guy. Oh, you're just who I was looking for. Oh, aren't you stereotypically British, Alfred? I'm going to call you Alfred from now on. All right. Yes, apparently I've got to inspect some lots. You want to sell us our little auction, hmm? Yes, indeed. Right. Without further ado. Okay, so do your thing, Alfred. Tell me that my stuff is either garbage or is so obscenely valuable. Let's have a look. What do you think? It's spoons. It's largely spoons. Mm. Oh, well now, you actually bought me something nice. Is Aha! It today? Oh, good. All right, so this is going to pass. I'm going to put my stamp of approval on this one. Next. Excellent. All right, so we got the spoons in the auction and, and a couple of forks well, and knives. Oh, oh, I don't like the way he's looking at well, that I knife. never. It's really quite a treasure, isn't it? Is it? Oh, goodness. All right, I may have found the world's most valuable pen knife. So, that lot is a pass. Cracking. Now, how about another item, eh? <gasps> how about another item? Here? Please say you the bell is right good. This time for sure. Oh, good. All right, excellent. Oh, that's all of them, is it? That's a shame. Well, in any case, here are your valuation results. Great. Gimme. Everything passed. Fantastic. So we got everything in the auction. Now we just have to basically wait for the auction and figure out how much people are willing to pay for this nonsense. All right. Thanks, Alfred. We're out of here. 
I hope you're happy with these. We can certainly do something with them. Good. You hold on tight to those spoons. I'll be back on auction Don't be day. be a stranger now. I look forward to seeing you again. You too, Alfred. I appreciate your politeness. Back home we go, and we'll just basically sleep through the night and figure out what happens in the morning. Well, wasting no time. It's the big day of the sale. We're heading to the auction rooms. All right. I didn't actually look at the date and figure out that this was tomorrow. But yeah, apparently we're getting auctioned off today. Off we go. I'm very excited about the spoons. All right. Here we are. Big auction. Looking very official here. Some sort of Greek statuary in the corner up against my pen knife. This can't possibly end well. All right, let's see what we got. I can feel the anticipation in the atmosphere. Yes, I'm banking everything on the spoons. Auctioneer is just getting ready to begin the auction. A quick reminder of the lots you've entered in this sale. Yep. All right, so now we get a little, you know, nicer look at it. 20th century cutlery. Okay. A contemporary knife. So none of these are... Oh, 19th century bell. Mmm, sounds antique -y. Okay. All right, maybe, maybe I should have just bet everything on the bell. All right, what do you got? Auctioneer is ready to go. Sale is about to start. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the sale. Oh, I'm excited. All right, what do you got? If I could take a brief moment to remind you to refer to the auction catalog for our terms, as these form our conditions of sale. Yeah, that means you're taking some of my money. Got it. We shall begin then, without further ado. First lot of the general sale. Auction What's it going to be? It's probably the spoons. Yep, here we go. Okay. Here's our next lot. All right, what do we got? Go for start it. start the bidding? 16? That's ridiculous. Any bid. Oh, At God. the first bid now. Okay, 10, 8, 10. Great. 12, okay, yes, 12. 14, Keep it going. 16. 16. All right, 18, getting up there. 18, 20. 20 22. Yes. 24. Keep it coming. 26, All right, now we're getting somewhere. 30. 32. Oh, 35, yeah. 38. Come on, 40, they're, they're really good spoons, guys. They're really 42, good spoons. Come 45, on. 45. 45. 48. A little more. I'll take another bit. A little more. Come wish. on, 50. Give me, just give me the even 50. 50. Yes, there we go. Do I see any advance now? No, nothing on 50? I'll, I'll take the 50. You know what? I'll take that 50. That's good. Sold. Okay. I'm kind of betting everything on the bell Sold. now. All right. Very good. So we got 50 bucks for that. We made a little bit of money on that. Not a lot, Next but a little bit. particular lot. Now, we don't need to make a lot, of money, a lot of money on this pen knife thing that we've... It's, I'll take it's, a lower it's bid just if it a helps. knife. Straight in with the first six. Okay, we're, eight, we're, in the, we're in the green 10, here. We're making money. 12, oh, yeah. 14, yeah. 16, yes. 18, 20, 22, 22 24. 24. Come on. Looking for an advance How about now, 30? How about 30? Come on, give it to me. If there's no further interest, then okay. I will sell. Yeah, that's totally fine. I'll take the 24. So, Excellent. You, oh, we made a killing on that one. Okay, now, the bell. Here's our next lot. Come Interest on. From commissions. Eight. Oh, oh, it's it's already firing off. Eight. Ten. Ten. Twelve. Come on, it's a 19th century bell, people. Looking around the room. I'm looking around the room, too. It's a 19th century bell. Setting then, if there's oh. no better bit. So. That's, that's not so great. I was hoping so. for a lot more with that bell, but we did really good with the knife. So End that happened. We're done. The auctioneer has just finished selling your final lot. Now, let's see your, how your items performed. I would very much like to see that, actually. Minus the commission, of the course. The auction is over. Let's take a look at how your lots performed. Let's do that, please. Yes. Okay. How did we do? All right. How did we do? 50 bucks on that cutlery set. Not bad. 24 on the knife. The bell. Eh, not so much. Not so much. Okay. So we made... Oh, uh, let's see here. Total pay all 86, less fees 2062. Okay, 65 bucks. Well, it's not not 65 bucks, I guess. Uh, we've done worse. Now, how did we really end up doing? Overall profit of 2638. All right. So, we made money on everything. There's no question, but that knife was the killer. That's, that's where all our money came in right there. That silly little pen knife is the one that just wrecked this auction. The others we did fine, but, you know, not as good profit. Oh, got to go find some more knives. All right. Well, thank you, nice auction lady. Um, I'm very broadly satisfied with $26.38 in my pocket. Yeah, we're good. Excellent. I'm so pleased to hear you're happy with how things went. Broadly happy. Broadly happy. Let's not go nuts here. I'm, I'm not, you know, going to go buy a Maserati with this. We look forward to serving you again. I do too. Thanks for your custom. Hopefully Come with some soon. more pen knives. All right, let's go home.
Oh, uh, except we gotta pay sixty ninety two for groceries. That's gonna take a little hit into the profit. And gas for the car. I, I, Alright, well, there goes our money. We, we have, um, we're up $6.41 at this point. Yes, let's go to the garage. Let's, let's do this again. Let's try the thrift store. Maybe that'll be a little better than the, the yard sale. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go to a thrift store. Maybe we'll find something better, like way more pen knives that are ridiculously valuable. Hi! All of our items have been donated by generous local people. Generous local people, you say, or people just trying to clear the garbage out of their house. See anything you like? Well, let's find out. Okay, what? What is that? Is that like a chewed up ball that somebody's dog dropped in our here? Price for that it's is... a golf ball. You want $24 for a beaten up golf ball that I am entirely convinced a dog has been chewing on. No way. There's got to be it's probably, it's probably the world's most valuable in. golf ball. Our price for uh, that is... fossil, you say. A fossil for 10 bucks. Hmm. That could be complete garbage though. I mean, it it's a rock. You're trying to sell me a rock for 10 bucks. You want to go any lower than that? We can't offer any discounts beyond the price you see. Are are you related to the yard sale lady? Uh, I'll think about How it. About I'll think about else? it. A pair of shoes? Let me check that for you. Just a pair of shoes. Just a pair of random shoes. Are you sure this was donated by generous people? I really think it was people who just dumped their trash at your front door. No, I'm not, not buying your shoes. You like? Not so good at the thrift Our store. What is this? Is... A charm at 15 bucks. That could be complete garbage, too. What, what else you got kicking There's around here? Be some... Let me check that for you. Chandelier for 18. Now that's pretty decent. I gotta figure. You want to go any lower than that? Um, we can take this price for it. Okay, you'll go down a couple of bucks. Sure, I'll take the chandelier. All right. Wonderful. Hope you enjoy it. Now, what is Let this me nonsense? Check that for you. A box, a twelve-dollar box. Yeah, look, ma'am, I'm sure you you run a fine establishment here, but I'm thoroughly convinced people are just dumping their garbage at your front door, and you're calling it a store. Uh, See anything else you might like? Maybe the Let fossil. Let me check that for you. Maybe the fossil. I, I know you're not going to, but you want to go any lower? Sorry, no, I can't you go can't. lower than that. All right, I'll take it. Wonderful. Hope you enjoy it. I probably won't enjoy it, but thank you. Uh, yeah, let's get Thanks out of here. Your local and then tomorrow shop. morning, Come let's again. head over. Well, head over to the auction house. Maybe we should just buy some more stuff tomorrow and go to the auction house with a big haul. Yeah, that's my plan. Tomorrow, we're going to go back to the yard sale lady. She had better things. And buy some more stuff. Ah, but unfortunately, there isn't a yard sale today. There is not one until the 23rd. It is now the 21st. So no yard sales for us to go to. I, We could go to the beach. We can dig for trash at the beach with Baywatch here. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go to the beach. How are you doing? Uh, just fine, Baywatch. How are you doing? Metal detecting on the beach? Uh, sure, let's do some metal detecting. I, I can't imagine this is going to end well. I doubt I'm going to be the one guy who finds the valuable gold watch. But yeah, metal detecting, sure. Absolutely. Okay, it'll cost you this much. Yeah, ten bucks, that's fine. Awesome. You can go ahead and start detecting whenever you're ready. Got it. Okay. Now, I need to kind of move this around, wait for the beep... And then dig my little heart out. Wow, there's not a lot around here. Is is there is there anything? I, have I just completely wasted my time with this? Oh, how about over here? No, no, waiting for that beep. How about the actual metal trash can? Apparently, that's not metal. Oh, oh, oh! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. Is there in fact? I think Baywatch was lying to me here. I think he's already... Oh, there there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Dig. 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 Come on, my, my battery's wearing down here. Once the battery gets out, I'm, I'm done metal detecting. Digging, 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 digging. Uh, I don't think I got quite the right spot. It's somewhere right... Uh, there. There. Okay, dig that. Dig that. Yeah, there's a shiny thing. Dig up the shiny thing. Item found. I dug up a nail. Woot. Okay, um, yeah, a nail. I, I have a nail. Um, 
Maybe it's a really valuable nail. Maybe it was, you know, a nail that Thomas Jefferson used or something like that. And there is nothing else on this beach. I'm not getting any signals at all here. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you detecting the metal trash can? Oh, there, there, somewhere around there, somewhere around there, somewhere, somewhere. So, no, no, up, 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 up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, there, there. Nope, nothing shiny poking out, so it's not right there. Um, oh, come on. There, it's right there. There it is. There it is. I dug up a tin can. Fantastic. I've got a nail and a tin can, and I've paid $10 for the privilege of digging them up with my own two hands. Anything else I can scrounge out of here before my battery dies? Not looking like it. All right, I think I'm going to take my delightful treasures of a nail and a tin can, my Thomas Jefferson nail and a tin can that, I, I don't know, Eisenhower used or something and get out of here. Yeah, we're heading back. We're done. Well, after our eventful day at the beach, let's actually check out the things. This is, this is my tin can. I didn't pay anything for it. That's not true. I paid $10 to use the metal detector. Uh, and there's my nail. It's not even a good nail. I can't, it's all bent and twisted and rusted. I can't even use it to do anything. I can't even hammer it in. That better be Thomas Jefferson's nail. Oh, all right. Well, let's, let's try and recoup our losses such as they are by going back to, I guess, the thrift store. There's no yard sale today, right? Yep, nope, got it. No yard sale today. So let's go to the thrift store. Didn't have a lot of luck there the last time. Let's see what we can do this time. Okay, looking slightly better. There's another chandelier up here. Our price for that Again, is... 18 for the chandelier. I could double up on my chandelier inventory. We'll think about See that. I want to look at like? this table. Our price for that oh, is... wow, that's expensive. That's super expensive. Are you willing to go any lower than that? Sorry, of course I can't you're go not. lower than that. Are you willing to trade a bent nail that may or may not have belonged to Thomas Jefferson and a tin can in exchange for this table? No, she's not looking real impressed by that. Okay, back See to this. Anything else you might like? What what are Price these? Hair is... clips. Hair clips. Ma'am, I've said it before recently, but people are just dumping trash bags at your door and you're calling it a thrift store. They're hair clips. I mean, they're they're kind of neat looking hair clips, but hair clips nonetheless. How about something else? And you got a box and the charm. How much are do you, you want for the charm? In this item? No, not for 15 bucks I'm not. No. How about something else? Let's readdress the chandelier issue. What is this? Our a speaker? No, it's a is... camera. Okay. Hmm, that's really pricey though. I've only got 120 bucks. There's got to be something there. I Let think I'm going to double down on my chandelier inventory cuz she's selling this one for 18 bucks too. Apparently there's been a big chandelier clear out in this neighborhood. Willing to go any lower than that? Okay. How okay. about this? She'll shave a couple of bucks off that. Yeah, I'll take your chandelier. Wonderful. Hope you enjoy it. I may or may not, depending on how well it goes with Thomas, Thomas Jefferson's nail. I really kind of want... Let me want, check that for you. I really want the table, but not for 82. I still got to buy groceries and gas. I'm, go I'm just going to be broke if I get this table. No. There's got to be something there that you'd be interested in. There actually isn't. I mean, there are, but I can't afford them. So I think we're out. I think I'm going to sleep through to tomorrow and then hit up that yard sale that's tomorrow. That sounds really good. Yeah, some more money gone from groceries. And probably some more money from gas, I would imagine. But all right, off to the garage. Off to the Batmobile here. And let's go to that yard sale, because that should be today. Yes, it is. Let's get in our car and see what this lady has, because we had better luck over here. I'm not loving thrift store. Hi. Hey, I'm having a big clear out today. You said that the last time, but you wouldn't haggle on like, this anything. this stuff has got to go. Uh-huh. I've heard that before from you. Anything I do like your sweater, your though. Oh. Um, How's this sound? Plastic bowls for three bucks. I can't imagine that Alfred at the auction house is really going to be plussed about that. Um, probably not. Going to buy anything else? Two tricycles. You have the same hair clips. Did you just buy these at the thrift store? Because I'm going to tell go you, and you want ten bucks for them. You want ten dollars. I am openly laughing at you, ma'am. Openly You're laughing at you. You have the shoes from the thrift store. How about this? I could sell that oh, for... Oh, okay. 
$2 bird cage. I mean, I can't imagine, I unless it's complete garbage and it doesn't get allowed in the auction, we'll make something off of that. Yeah, I'll take your two... I don't suppose you want to give it to me for a dollar. Uh, uh, I didn't think so. Nope, that's my price on it. Okay, anything I can learn about it? Closer look, nothing in particular stands out. Yeah, I'm terrible at inspecting stuff, but yeah, I'll take Thanks that. Thanks a lot. I'll take that. Um, the tricycles, probably not. The shoes, no. No, your yard sale is terrible today. Wipe that smile off your face. Oh, somebody, somebody bought the shoes. Okay, probably the thrift store lady. I have a sneaking suspicion that inventory is just going back and forth between you two. I'm pretty convinced you're related and this is some sort of scam. All right, well, wipe the smile off your face. Your inventory is terrible. I'm out of here. Yeah, I spent a little money on gas overnight, apparently. Let's go to the garage. Let's go see if we can sneak some of this rubbish past Alfred at the auction house. Yeah, let's go to the auction room. Yes, thank you. Off we go. All right, I have entered everything into the general auction, both of our chandeliers, which I'm not even sure how I fit those in my car, uh, the rock, the birdcage, and you know okay. what? I'm going for it. I'm going yet. for it. Thomas Jefferson's nail. Lot has been entered success. Yeah, Thomas Jefferson's like nail is going in auction. If we can sneak it past Alfred, I would be so impressed if that happens. Yes, let's go to the valuation. Let's see if um, the stereotypical British guy will let us sneak a Thomas Jefferson's nail into the auction. Absolutely. Great. Our valuer will be with you any moment to take a look at what you're offering for auction. Oh, he's not going to be happy with me, ma'am. But we'll give it a shot. <laughs> nice. Very nice. This is a jolly good lot all round. Okay, he's pretty impressed with the chandelier number one. So yes, that one is perfect. Good. Dear me. The rock. How are you feeling well, about never. the rock? It's really quite a treasure, isn't it? Okay, good. All right. The rock managed to squeak in here. This one's going straight to the auction. Now. What else have you got to show me? Now, this may surprise you, Alfred, but it's another I chandelier. Don't it. Oh, it's the I've birdcage. I've never seen so oh, much Oh, no, he doesn't in want... all my life. That's annoying. I'm going to be stuck with that birdcage. Well, at least we only paid $2 for it, so he's not going to let that in. Is this some kind of practical joke? No, it's a birdcage. Wait till you see what I got coming up later. It's a nail. All right, so I'm going to just kind of sit on that. Oh. Well, how about, you, how about chandelier me, number two? It's fine. It's... Definitely got some appreciable qualities. Okay. So, that lot is a pass. Yeah, I figured the chandelier now, would be in. how about another item, eh? Oh, you're going to love this one, Alfred. You're going to love well, this one. <laughs> it just hasn't got it, you know. I mean, trust me, I'm a valuer. I should know what I'm talking about. It, it, I, I'm not... You know what? It's embarrassing, isn't it, Alfred? I brought you a bent, rusty nail that may or may not have belonged to Thomas Jefferson. Apparently, it doesn't. Oh, that's all of them, is it? That's a shame. Well, in any case, here are your valuation results. I kind of figured it might be a little bit of a long shot to squeak at the nail volume, but you never know. You never know what's going to go and what's not going to go. All right, so we got the chandeliers and the rock into the auction. Not so much with the birdcage. That one's a little disappointing. I I'd hope we'd be able to get that one in. Not particularly surprised about the rusty nail, but you never know. Okay, let's go home and let's get to this auction. Well, the auction isn't until tomorrow, so we kind of have nothing to do today. I mean, we could go out and, well, we could still got 80 bucks. We could still do some damage out there. Uh, inventory. I be Can I just sell the birdcage, please? Can I just get rid of it? Um, yeah, I want to do that. I just, I just want to, I just want to sell things. I want assets. There we go. Yes. Birdcage. I can get a buck 20 for it. There it is. You know, I can get a buck twenty just to get it off there. Because if I can't get it in the general auction, I'm certainly not going to get it in the really good auction. So may as well just dump it. It'll it'll pay for you know a gallon of gas maybe in this game anyway. It won't pay for a gallon of gas in real life. But there we go. Okay. Um, do we want to skip a day or do we want to just maybe do some more damage with the eighty bucks we've got right now? Yeah. Let's uh let's do some more damage and then. Oh, uh, we probably won't be able to get stuff into the auction tomorrow for the auction tomorrow. But long story short, let's just go see if thrift store lady. There's probably no garage sales, right? Yeah, no, there's not one today. But we can go to. I'm not going back to Baywatch. I'm not. I'm not getting Thomas Jefferson's nail again. We'll go to the thrift store. I'm sure those shoes have probably changed hands again. They're probably back in here. Okay. Hi, thanks for stopping by. I'm not sure why I keep coming back here because your birdcage was garbage. Can I help? Did you sell me the birdcage? I don't remember. I'm convinced you two are related. Okay, you have more hair clips and the birdcage is back. Did I sell the birdcage to you? 
Probably. What is this? Our price for that a stick is... pin. Huh. That could go like the bell. That could be something actually reasonably valuable. You want to go any lower than 10 bucks? Actually, let's take a look at it. Uh, fail to notice anything unusual. Yeah, I'm terrible at that. That's our best price on that. I'm gonna take that. I just got a, a bell feeling about this. Wonderful. Hope you enjoy it. Now, what are these? Let me check that for you. Buttons. You want 12 bucks for some buttons. They do look like very, very nice buttons, though. I, I won't dispute that. They do look like very nice buttons. There's only five of them. So I need a five-button jacket somehow to go with these. But hey, you want to go any lower than that? Sorry, I can't go lower than that. I'm going to take a chance on you, ma'am. And I'm going to buy those Great. buttons. Thanks for that. Not so much the hair clips. Definitely not the birdcage. We've made that mistake before. And just another random Our pair of shoes. That is... Yeah, I'm not paying 18 bucks for a pair of heels. They're not even See my style. Else you might like? No, I think we're good right now. I'm going to take those two things, and then tomorrow we'll see how our chandeliers and our rock do in the auction. Okay, it's the big day. Let's see how our rock is going to do. I'm just going to quietly mingle in the crowd and see if anyone is interested in a little side purchase of a rusty nail. But yeah, let's, um, let's just make sure we know what we're selling here two 20th century chandeliers and a rock good not able to squeak the nail in there okay let's see how these do okay right, now one chandelier boss. up first what are we gonna get interest from commissions okay. starts us off. 14 good good 16, 16. all right i think we made 20, our money back 20 22 22 24, oh yeah people are loving the chandelier yes don't worry i got 30. another one coming up guys there's another one at the end of the well, auction give me the next bid 32. 32. Okay, fair. Fair. 35. 35. Excellent. Anyone want to go any higher? Take 38. And 38. And if we're sure we're done with it, then I shall sell. Uh, sold. Okay. All right. Well, and sold. We made our money on it. That's fine. We made a little bit of money on that. How and about a rock? How about a rock? I shall start the bidding for this piece. What did we pay? I think we paid 10 for that. Who will give me the first bid? Oh, nobody wants to buy At the, the rock. Bid now, Two four. bucks. Really? Six, Four? Six? Eight. Eight? Ten. Ten? Come on, it's a really bid, nice rock. Twelve. I'll throw in the nail Looking and the tin the can. Now, if you wish to bid. No. Twelve and bucks? Sure oh, it, that's sell. disappointing. So That's a, that's not a good... Sold. That wasn't a good trade. Okay. All right. Chandelier number two. Spot. Here we go. Come on. Give it... Oh, 45! Holy moly. Wow, somebody really... they Probably they bought the I'll first chandelier, and now they wish. want the matching pair. Are they just stalling Selling at 45? The bid. Wow, just one so, bid. Yeah, it's definitely the guy who bought the first so. one. No question. Okay, well, not not a lot of profit there. Let's, let's see how we actually ended up doing there. Yeah, we actually took a little beating on the rock with what with the commission and all. I mean, we made some money on the chandeliers. Again, $28.36. Not really killing it in the yard sale game. Not really killing it, but we made some money. We made some, we didn't make no money. It'll cover our gas and our groceries. Okay, thank you, auction lady. It looks I like appreciate the it. Did well today. Congratulations. They actually didn't do that well. Um, there's a rock that we lost some money on, and I couldn't get Thomas Jefferson's nail into the auction. Are you interested in a side purchase by any chance? You look like a woman who might need Thomas Jefferson's nail. Please don't hesitate to contact us again should you have further items to sell. That's a no. That's a hard no from you, wasn't it? That was a very polite but a very hard no. no. Okay, let's go back home. And after we paid for our groceries for the day, we're down to a measly $112.11. I don't even think we can afford any new furniture at that, can we? No. Upgrades. Furniture. No. 250 bucks. Yeah, that ain't happening anytime soon. How about the walls? Can we do anything with the walls? Uh, a basic wall is 150 bucks. Oh dear. How about those shelves? 35. Not worth it. Not worth it. No, no, we can't afford to do anything with this. We're going to have to have to hit a lot more yard sales if we're going to be able to make this place look nice. So there's a quick look at Bargain Hunter. It's fun and it's casual and I don't have to think too hard about it. I just sort of point and click my way to profit. Eventually, eventually, I still have hopes for Thomas Jefferson's nail. If you've enjoyed Bargain Hunter, do please let me know in the comments if you want to see any more of it. And if you've liked the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe 
maybe just checking me out for the first time, eh, maybe think about hitting that subscribe button so you can see more of this ridiculous nonsense. But until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Wow. You could have hepatitis or golfer's elbow. I feel we should be able to narrow it down a little better. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a doctor, but I'm saying I might be able to know the difference between golfer's elbow or hep hepatitis. First thing I'd ask is, do you play golf? Where are you going?